All right, now we're on the Lincoln Aspect 375. This is your on switch, so let's start there. It's gonna run through like a short little diagnostic. Okay, so once this comes up, we wanna start over here, so let's get a little bit closer. All right, so polarity. I know the symbols are gonna change up a little bit, but the solid line with the dashes, that's direct current. This little wavy symbol, that's for alternating current. So again, this is a little push button. You wanna make sure that you're on the top light. Now this one for process, again, you got multiple symbols. The top two are for another welding process, gas tanks and arc welding. The bottom two are gonna be for shielded metal arc welding. So the bottom two, one is for slightly less penetration, one has more penetration. So it all depends on what electrode you're using. If you're using something like 7018, you want this symbol to be illuminated. If you're doing something like 6010, you want this symbol. And it's as easy as just pushing a button, okay? Now output. You have three different choices here. Actually, since we're on stick, we only get one, so that kind of makes it a lot easier to explain. Output, we want it to be on because we're using stick. If we were on TIG, then we would have the choices of these two top ones, but we're not doing TIG yet, so leave all that alone. Alternating current wave shape or AC wave shape, well, we're not using AC, so we don't need to worry about that. So just make sure your polarity is on direct current, your process is on stick, and then whatever electrode you happen to be using, and then your output should always be on. From there, our open circuit voltage, well, actually this doesn't display open circuit voltage, but as you're welding, it will display your voltage. So you'll probably see this number jump around, that's okay, and this is gonna be your amperage, so. Now, we won't have to worry about these two because uh, that's going to be for TIG welding, stick welding. We don't have to worry about any of this, just the first three, all right? Now, let's go ahead and back up so we can talk about the cables. All right, so we've got a couple different places where we can stick things. This one, don't have to worry about it. That's for uh, gas tanks and arc welding. So is this, but this is more for the uh, uh, like a Bluetooth connection. This is for a hard wire connection. And then we've got our last two. So this symbol, we've got our TIG torch, our welding electrode holder. So this is gonna be where your electrode holder gets plugged into. And then this one is gonna be where your ground clamp hooks into. They're as easy as, you know, just twisting, pulling out, but I'm not gonna go through all that. Um, so if you're ever wondering if they're misplaced, just look at the symbols and then track down the end of your lead. All right, that's pretty much it.